Hello, it's Marco Matoris, Chief from Markham 3D, and today I'm going to show you a Blender add-on called Layer Painter. Now, this is the equivalent of Substance Painter, but actually within Blender. If you like seeing these types of reviews, please make sure you hit the like button and the subscribe button to keep you up to date with any other Blender add-ons that I'm reviewing. So I've already stored it going Edit Preferences and installed the add-on just the default way. I'm going to press N to bring in the side panel and click Layer Painter. Now there is a tutorial through this and this is the only Blender tutorial that I've seen where you actually have to click next as you go along. So it's a really good tutorial, but let's just get straight into it and I'll just give you a quick overview of how this actually works. I'm gonna click Activate Layer Painter. From here, I'm gonna click Reset Material, that's fine. Let's create a new layer and click OK here. And so here we've got all our PBR stuff. Um, so let's just change the color to here. Let's give it a little bit of metallic, bring down the roughness and that's fine. Now we've got a very shiny cube, whoop de doo Let's go in and add another layer. From here, I'm just gonna change this to a blue color and let's give it a little bit of shine. Let's bring down the roughness a little bit. And this is the fun part. So we can come over here and select the mask selection. We've got the mask layer and I'm gonna change it from none to damaged. Let's have a look what happens. So this is what we got, that's kind of cool. I would rather the blue be more predominant. So I'm gonna click general and we will invert that. And so now we've kind of got that black from underneath coming through. So maybe I don't want damage, let's go subtle scratches. And we can see we've got little scratches. However, the black is predominant. I want the blue to be predominant. So let's go back into general and let's invert that. And we can see that we've got little imperfections all over the material. So what we can do is maybe we just give it a little bit more strength. So all these black spots are starting to come through. Scale the scratch scratches, let's go bigger. <laughs> That's a little bit too big. So maybe if we bring them down, there we go. Scale spots. And there we have it, look at that, beautiful. So that's a very quick overview of Layer Painter. Let's go into something a little bit more complex. So here's a spaceship that I've uh, modeled on a live stream a little while back. And if you do want to catch me on live streams, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification button so you get a notification when I'm actually live streaming. From here, once again, I'm gonna click Layer Painter. Let's go activate Layer Painter. And I've got my clay material on. Let's reset this material. First up, I'm actually gonna go uh, back into modeling. I'm going to select everything, tab into edit mode. Um, but I got Bezier's here, so let's get rid of the Bezier's real quick. We'll select the Bezier curves, object, convert, mesh from curve. Beautiful, let's select everything again. Tab into edit mode, A to select everything. U, smart UV project. And now if we just jump into UV editing, select everything. I'm gonna press N and I'm just gonna use UV Pack Master. You can see what the UV layout looks like. And if I use press pack, and that's very compact. A link to the UV Pack Master will also be in the description below. But let's go back into Layer Painter. And so now we're looking at our ship. So at the moment, I really should separate each piece to have its own material. And um, for instance, these shipping containers, I would put on uh, a different material, but most of the body I would keep together. Let's create a new material and I'm gonna do the undercoat first. So probably a nice dark gray metal, bring down the roughness. That looks pretty. Let's create a new material. I would like uh, probably maybe a gray color with a bluish tinge. There we go, that doesn't look too bad. And what I can do is come here again and we can do the same thing we did last time. Mm, big rust. <laughs> so if we're gonna go, let's invert that. And what we'll do is come over here. Let's make this, I think that the scale should be a lot smaller. Details. Let's just play with the settings a little bit. No, we want plenty of details. Um, let's bring that down. And I don't want so much. So just like uh, Substance Painter, it's always good just to get that value that you want. There we go, that doesn't look too bad. I've got a bit of a rust layer happening. So maybe if we come back into here and the color, let's make it kind of like a dark red, metallic down, roughness up. 
And what if maybe I just want it on a specific layer? I mean, uh, specific parts of the ship. So let's go create a new material. I'm gonna bring it down in between our top layer and into here. Well, actually, no, we'll bring this one on top and then we can make a variation of color. So let's make this one a dark color. Let's bring up the shine a little bit, roughness a bit more. And we go into the mask section and rather than having a layer mask, uh, one of the presets, we can go into texture. From here, I press the plus sign and what this will do is create a new texture. And now I can come in, let's go, let's go engine, engine inserts. Now the engine inserts, uh, let's hold control. And now I can actually paint on what I want affected. And so now you can see that I've actually inverted it. So now that rust material that we had underneath, which is on layer two, which is kind of like our paint, it is now coming through and we've got the, uh, the rust material all coming through there. That is pretty schmick. It's a beautiful add-on, it's available on Gumroad. Um, the link is in the description below. I would love to see the creations that you guys make with this and see how much you guys can compare it to Substance Painter. Um, hopefully in future updates, there will be brushes coming out. So if we come up into here, obviously with Blender, you can put in your own custom brushes as well. Um, just like Substance Painter, where you can actually draw scratches on, so on and so forth. Um, I will probably even try and create some brushes as well and have them included in future updates. So once again, please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. This is the Blender add-on called Layer Painter. And every Tuesday I release a Blender add-on review. So I'll see you then.